kill it. I am just setting up my rubbish. sort my stuff out before I start. Today, we are actually going to build the base this time. Right, I was given a hint on where to go and get the supplies I need for it. Because I've already been there once, so... Hi, Whiskey! So yeah, today we are definitely going to build a base. I just need to actually get the stuff for it. But yeah, the, the hint I was given is that it's somewhere we've already been once. Which makes me think it's probably going to be like one of the beacons that we've been to for the rest of the crew. Alright, whiskey. I know you can't hear this anyway. <laughs> Hi, rabbit. <laughs> there we go. So, oh, we got radio. Oh, so they've actually given us the code for the captain's quarters Welcome after I've captain. already been there. Anyway, we shall go back there at some point. Better I guess it's the wrong sandwich as well now. So... Where was the places we could go to? Um, beacons... Aurora Rendezvous Point, that's the one we want. So we'll make these red so they're easier to see. Oh, there's one life pod. 
There's another life pod. There's the rendezvous point. And we have our fancy little storage space as well now. So I've still got a few bits in here. But we will head for dry land. In our fun new little submarine. We will eventually build the bigger submarine as well. Those two we've been, the rest of them that we need to go to. But we will go for dry land first. See, these are really cool, like giant bubbles that help stuff float. <laughs> oh, that's a volcano. Or a vent for one at least. There's the bottom of the island. Water, water, water. Well, those are like giant ones of the little floating things we saw. Scan it. Ancient floater. And this thing has storage in it now. So I'll put some food and drinks in there. Or some food at least. I forgot to put water in there. Ah oh, well, we'll have to find some. Put that in there, put that in there. It's a friendly monster. We've only found one big horrible monster so far that tried to eat us. And we'll have to go back and see that one later on. So. On this island somewhere is where the rest of the crew was meant to meet up. That direction. We've got trees. That looks like a building on top of there. What kind of tree this is? Let, let me take a sample. No. This is where everybody was supposed to meet up. Let's see if there's anybody here. 
No, there's a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long-range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from 2nd Officer Keen, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Get out, out of the Votar. and I lost at sea. <laughs> Be safe. Keen. Out. Seek fluid intake immediately. There we go. But yeah, he just said Vital they came across stabilizing. a Leviathan class predator. So that means it was big. Might have been the thing that we saw last time, actually. That thing was nasty. No, I'm supposed to scan this thing. This place seems alright. Land at least. Jaffa Corp. Any of these usable? No. Well, it seems like we've got a proper path and everything here. Harvestable spores, but it's in, uh, inedible. Orange colored lamp plant, which contains unusually thick protein which sludges its base. Maybe carnivorous, but unable to scale back up the scenery. Ultimately digested. Ooh, it's like a pitcher plant. Brittle land plant containing large spores which generate a characteristic rattle when the plant is shaken. This may act to ward off predators or even encourage predation as a means of spreading the spores. Not useful though, is it? I need useful things. <gasps> I see flower beds. That's the tree. Edible fruit. Wonder if I get do I get seeds if I knife it. I do. Perfect. Ah. These are gonna come in handy. <gasps> More of them. Chinese potato. More of the marble melons. More Chinese potato. Do I have to knife these as well? Or do I just pick them up to plant them? I assume we just pick them up. Let's try and find buildings. We found like plants and stuff. Or planters. So there's bound to be buildings near somewhere. Any further up the hill. Yeah, that's definitely a building at the top of there. And at the top of there as well. Uh, 
And another building there. Is that a building? Oh, the angry spiders. You little oh. shit. So this is like a broken one. This looks old as well, it's like rusted and everything. I can hear one of those spiders. Where is it? Ooh, I can scan. A wall planter. Multi-purpose room. This is what we need for building the base. Scan. Oh yeah, I can see that spider inside the tube. The leg was clipping through. So that's what we needed. Yeah, I can hear it below me, but I can't see it. More plant. There's one. Get him. Me, a little shit. Where are you? We've got more planters with edible plants and stuff in it. Ooh. Another one of these fancy alien tablets. And a PDA. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for aliens. all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Near blueprint acquired. And another PDA. In Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deep. Go deal with the plants. Bard, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand mm -hmm. me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here neither. If this rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. He was threatening to leave her behind. Integrating new PDA data. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting say in the light called pot, Bart, then? rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. He is, his son's called Bart. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, 
She'd have more faith. <laughs> Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. I bought. Acquired. Well, there is a Bart who survived this crash as well. New PDA data. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is, oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Hi, Trilla. Later, we'll get our feet wet. And hi, Raiders. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. We are currently exploring the small bit of land that I've found. Hi, Cove. And we found a base on the land, which predictably there's nobody left because they're probably all dead. So, what do we find? So we've got a sample of that tree, some potatoes and some melon seeds, what other cool stuff. Walter. Bart. New PDA data. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Hmm. New blueprint acquired. Right, we have blueprints, we have some plant to make food, so let's head back to our tiny submarine and start building our base. And there's the big crash ship which we now have the captain's code for. So we will nip back there at some point and go into the captain's office to get the stuff that we missed from there. And we've got a few more nav points to explore at some point as well. So, jump in our tiny submarine. And head back this way. If we can spot anything else cool on the way there. glowy plants. A lot of these little fish. Oops. 
passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency right, decreased. Run away. Ah, that clicking sound is those little fish. And lots of caves. Oops. Ah, it's just beyond this red stuff. I can hear the big friendly leviathans over there. scannable in these boxes. Laser cutter, I think we've already got that. Gives us a bit of titanium, but the inventory's full. Yeah, same there. That's the tiny bitey fish that was trying to get us before. There we go, repair it a bit. I do love the sound of those friendly leviathans, the reef backs. They sound a bit like whales. So, we're back at our pod. Where should we start building our base? Do I have the constructor thing here? I don't even know if, if I have the base builder thing. It looks like it. There's a lot to do. I don't have the base builder thing yet. Um, so we've got laser cutter, repair tool, survival knife and a scanner. And we've got the sea glide. So let's build enamel, glass, I need stalker or tooth of glass, right. Uh, habitat builder. Battery, wiring kit, and a computer chip. So, I've got battery, we've got computer chip. I need a wiring kit, which is silver. Got one silver. Um, I am running out of room to store stuff. storage I can build. Let's bugger out, let's drop a couple of flares. Don't really need them. So I've got a battery. I've got a computer chip. So for the habitat builder I now need a wiring kit. Yes, kuch. Yes, kuch. Tell you what, that's what we will call our uh, our submarine when it lets us name it. I need one more piece of silver, which means finding some sandstone. Sandstone. Lead. No. Do not want lead. Oh yeah, that's the other deep bit we need to explore at some point.
titanium. There, yeah, because it's sandstone I need, isn't it? Are you sandstone? You are. Silver. Yeah, that shall be the name of our our little submarine then. It's currently a sea moth. Once we get to the bit where we can customise it, it has to be pink because Kelly wants it to be pink. And then that's what we shall call it. A time to build habitat builder. Perfect. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. And now we need to do a lot, a bit of swapping because I know we're going to need a lot of titanium for this. So, start building our base. But where shall we build it first? This looks like a decent area. Shall we like build it and extend it over the edge? First we need to build multi-purpose. Build it in Yefk. <laughs> How tall can I build it? Or like how close to the surface? And there. And now, how do I actually build or construct? You can, I have seen the plans for it. So there is our multi purpose room. And leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Now we need as your home, but never forget that it is a hatch. Where is a hatch? There, needs quartz and titanium. Wait until you see the posters and stuff I've got to put in it. We'll get some more titanium out of storage. Do we have any more? Didn't even have any quartz in there either. Rubbish. Oh, we could put more of this back into the storage until we need it. And we can go hunting some quartz and some titanium. And the radio signal. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Right. So we need titanium and quartz for now. Um, no hentai posters. We've got... What are basically Pacific Rim posters? For like the mech, are they the rotten ones? Not cooked. Yeah, not. They're the ones that I just dumped there. And egg. That's what we're looking for. Metal salvage. More metal salvage and some quartz. Quartz there. Yeah, you can find like random fish eggs. And when we can actually make the aquarium, we can put them in there. New titanium, copper. That will come in useful anyway. And we have more quartz. Oh shit, explodey things. Give me a line. Yeah, there are tiny asshole fish that live in these caverns. And they, uh... 
and will chase after you and explode. Right, we've got quartz. We've got some more titanium. Would you call it the actual base? There we go, there is the beginnings of our base. Now, build. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Oh, so it needs power. Right, um... How do we build power? Solar panels. We need two more titanium. <laughs> titanium. There. Build a solar panel. And I know for a fact the solar panels work underwater. Have you guys heard about our new Lord and Saviour Yefkch? All plays Yefkch. Build. Because they're solar Power panels restored. and they're static, we're All probably best off building a second online. one. Try and position it so it looks nice. We've got two titanium, I'll need two more quartz for it. In fact, it said I could build one of those crow beds, didn't it? Use on land or underwater. Well, let me put one down round here. Put somewhere useful. survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw, salad of live tree roaches and stag root. Ooh, I wonder. Can I build some of these and just take them with me? There we go, I can build my can uh what's it called No rotten Oh no I need to Hi it's me TTS man. I live underwater with all my fishy friends. I'm going to bite your toes. My toes, where is Manu? Paint my toenails, bitch, I love you. <laughs> Recommended. I'm sure we had some food packs here somewhere. Or did I put them in a little submarine? There we go, food packs. Vital signs. And we need water. Um, give me all those tiny little fish that filters things. You. Come here. You're being made into water. Water. 
Walter. There. Vital signs stabilizing. Need more titanium. Anything else I can grow? Shell sacks can probably grow. It said they're an animal. Oh, look, you can see them. They're kind of shell sacks. Cat. These will also grow. Oh, it works the same way as the other plants, so... Grow a bunch of them. And then if I go inside... I build one in Welcome here. Aboard, Captain. I need an inside one. Um, do I have an inside one? I've got bulkhead. I've got reactors. Indoor grow bed. There. So you can be my indoor food. So we'll put these Chinese potatoes and these little marble melon things and Atlanta fruit. I'm sure I had some more of those marble melon seeds. Oh yeah, I had my posters. Seeds. You shall see in a second, Manu. Yeah, so this is growing food for me. Food is no longer a problem, now it's just water. And we will put up. our posters. So we have the most important one first. I'm going to try and get it lined up nicely. Oh, not that one. This was the important one. Keep calm. And then we had what are basically our Pacific Rim posters. That one's on land. That one's on water. That's our keep calm one. And that's the Pacific Rim poster. And then we have Forge and hat. There. We have our hat and our toy. We have food and posters. That will do for now. And I need to go in search of more water. So let's see if we can find one of those little bladder fish again. 
If not, we will need to find some salt and make some bleach. In fact, that might be easier. There's usually a bunch of salt around here. There. Salt. Salt. Yeah, but we're not allowed to drink this water because reasons. <laughs> Plenty of salt when Barclays start you. Some of this. That stuff grows, grows pretty quickly. Yeah, you don't know what else the fish have been doing in there either. We make bleach. With the bleach we make disinfected water. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. What were we going to build next? We have... What can we build actually? Got all these beds and stuff we can build. We can actually build lockers and stuff for storage. Cool. Modification station. Aquarium needs glass. And we can actually build all the other stuff that we could have. Spotlights. So, I quite like the idea of having my bedroom be the observatory. So, we will build a tunnel. And then the observatory, which needs enameled glass. So we need to find what was it he needed for an old glass, it said. Stalker tooth. Which one's the stalker? Did the angry looking thing. Scanner room. Ah, oh, we don't have all the stuff for a scanner room. So cool. So which one is the stalker? Uh, carnivore, uh, sky rays, ladder fish. Apparently I have not seen a stalker yet. Either that or I've just not scanned one.
Well, if it's got teeth that I need to collect, it's not going to be announcement nice, is it? you mean barracuda things where were they hanging around Those buggers. Are you a stalker? Yes, you are. How do I get his teeth? Are you gonna give me teeth? things where they just drop them. looks to be stuck. anyway ah there's more of them around here Are there any teeth more salt
Uh, they like playing with these chunks of metal, but can't see any teeth anywhere. I wonder if I can bait them into it.
Unless constructed with a specific research task in mind, observatories and other glass modules are imprudent for survival purposes.
There we go, we have a bed. You can even sleep in it. Oh, Brina, I've started building a base. So this is my bedroom. With the bed. With our main room. With our posters up in it. And we have food. And a couple of toys. So what else can we build? Yes, you can sleep there if you wish. You can get a nice view of all the fish and everything outside. That you can see all the way over there. And a water base. We've got a hatch, window, glass bits, foundations. We've got a grow bed outside and inside. We've got solar power, so we don't need a reactor yet. Because we should start adding these things inside. So we've got large freestanding storage. We need that. We need somewhere to put our seeds and stuff. Now I can put seeds and other bits in here. And what did I need to build the aquarium? I needed two glass and a single titanium. So got so I need four quarts to do that I'll we'll get radio signal welcome aboard captain quick to the radio Don't this know is how yet, we've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Full battery. No, no gun unfortunately. I've got... That's a repair tool. I've got a cutting tool. A knife and a habitat builder, but still no gun. Now what I'm in search of is, I will take this egg anyway. I need more quartz. I need four actually. Just saving it Brina for something special. Grind it up into a powder and snort it. What are you supposed to do with crunchies?
the exploding fish that uh, got away. <laughs> Not that one though. And I need three more quartz. of quartz please or three pieces I should say right, if she explodes you'll hear a loud bang on the microphone Killed me. Little exploding bastards. What did I lose? Piece of gold and uh, some titanium. We're good. Yes, little exploding bastards. Did I see quartz in? Volcano pipe. Any quartz around these bits? I see a piece in front of me. piece of quartz and I can be shot at the little exploding guns there no oh, you're banned You can see bits of my base glowing from a distance. So 
though we needed. I need a piece of table coral. Which is the red stuff, Brian. This stuff. glass and to build the fabricator for building stuff let's just build it here can glass and more glass And now we can build an aquarium. Um, yeah, let's put it here. I had the eggs in this. <sighs> you all skipping out on watching Brina. Oh, I can't put eggs in it. Maybe I need a different one for putting the eggs in then. Unless... I wonder if I can just grab fish and put them in there. Let's sleep. Yeah, you can gr you can literally just grab fish in the water. It's what you do at the start. So I might grab some live fish and see if I can put them in there. We are back to daytime. Well, uh, yes. Yes. Right. Uh, let's grab a fish. You, Mr. Bladderfish. Look, it's in my hand. Now. Welcome aboard, Captain. There we go. So there is my pet bladder fish. I shall call him... Breener. So there is our bladder fish called Breener.
there we go. So we have food. We can make pretty much all the water we want. We get an aquarium. And we've got a bed. We've made a start on our base. And we have breeder fish. So next time, because I am going to wrap up now. Um, Welcome aboard, Captain. We have these beacons to go and have a look at. So we've already done Thor's two. We may have already done that third one as well, but there was some useful stuff there, so it's worth going back. So next time we will be going to all these other beacons to find the stuff that's there and we will continue expanding the base, looking for more cool stuff. But this is our base for now. With the bedroom, main area, with some solar power. And we have our posters, our food and our breeder fish. So, I will be seeing you all next time. And we shall look for somebody to raid, shall we? Because it'll be Tuesday when I'm back. Today, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, what am I talking about? It'll be Saturday when I'm back. And Saturday we will be continuing with Dark Souls. Let's see who's live, who we know, shall we? <sighs> Greg is online. Let's go and raid Greg and say hello. He is playing Streamer Life Simulator. <laughs> so, everybody go and say hi to Greg. Hey, look, Wayne turns up. That work, that uh, airlock breeder, it's um, science. It is advanced science that you don't understand yet. And yeah, I got an actual explanation for the bends as well. The the suit that that we're wearing is a high tech pressure suit. It compensates automatically. So, everybody go and say hi to Greg. He is playing Streamer Life Simulator. He is old, so you might have to bear with him a bit. And I will see you all on Saturday for some Dark Souls. So, have fun everybody, and thanks for watching. Bye bye Yo, Trouble Bass. I'm sorry right now, we're playing a fucking dog shit game that I wish I never bought, but thank you for the raid. Hope, uh, I hope Subnautica went well. I hope Subnautica went well. Probably a much better game than this. Because I'm out here struggling right now. I'm out here struggling. This, this game cost me like 10 bucks or something. And um, probably looks like a refund sooner or later, but we're going to try a bit more, honestly. <laughs> I have an actual base now, so it's going well. Great. Yeah, I need to play more Subnautica in the future, for sure, for sure. You almost, you almost made it, Breener. You almost made it.